Uh, everybody, this is Sophie Williams. Make her welcome. And, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, in fact, Sophie, why don't you play something for us as a way to introduce yourself to the class? Just a way of saying hi. I just haven't really prepared anything. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anything you like. Their art strangely makes them quite lonely. And so when they find this other person who sort of speaks the same language, then there's, a, there's an immediate bond. Without, without meaning to, it does become, as you say, exclusive. But I think that's when people come together who are fascinated by the same things. You sort of, inevitably, it can become a little bit uh, clique of a clique without, without meaning to. You got a very attractive young lady over there staying with you. Ever make you think twice? Hey. I don't want to be living a life where I'm not choosing stuff. A lot of these characters sort of have slowly fell into a performance that's maybe not necessarily natural okay. to them anymore. And I think it's about all the characters suddenly rediscovering who they really are and, and who they really are performing for, in well, a sense. Well, I, I think that's, that's really interesting, actually, because it's that fur in the first shot of the film, is you have that sense that he particularly is performing a role of the devoted father and devoted husband, and there's something isn't quite right. And I think Sophie coming along exposes that um, artifice, that slight artifice in him, that he doesn't quite realize that he is, uh, yeah, that he is playing a role. Oh, no, memory yeah, lane. It's too loud. It's, it's too loud, it's great, it's the EP. <laughs> Does it sound great? Oh, you guys are so cute. We could still be cute. You can't transfer these, they're gonna get ruined. They're all stretched out. Don't you miss this life? It's exciting, wasn't it? What? Life and no money, strangers waking up on our couch. Yeah. No hot water. Being creative. Cockroaches. Being spontaneous. Noise. Being inspired. Police sirens. Don't you think? I was wondering if there was any way that with this film and, and with Like Crazy, you could extrapolate any kind of uh, political message about the ability of England to still shake America, to still wobble its foundations. You've just uncovered the secret to both movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Is that really? Is that? I mean, it's, it's so interesting. I mean, it's a... I never thought about it like that, but I always just thought of it as a, as a way to try to work her into the movies because you know, <laughs> to, I want her improvising in her accent and I want her sort of essentially, you know, I want to bring that element in, but it's, yeah, I mean, I guess in a way that's... So if I was German, then... Yeah, it would be, then, then you'd say Germany in, in America, yeah. Because yeah. in a sense, I mean, I never thought about this either, but, you know, she essentially is playing an exchange student in both films. I mean, that's that's other than that, they're completely different characters. But that is one thing that they have in common. So, uh, you know, next time maybe yeah, a German exchange student, French or exchange French. student, like that. and then we can say that about that. Relax your shoulders and breathe in through your nose and out. When st somehow you're not being true to yourself, you're slightly holding your breath, and and her coming along, and just saying, just breathe, is 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 somehow saying, there's a more true version of yourself that you're not being. You know, to fear and anxiety and pain. They seem so together now. The world is problematic, you know, for him, and I think that, you know. We can imagine it all. Mr. Gru, Agent Lucy Wilde of the anti I, I can pretty much excel at whatever I want.